The Indian Defence Secretary has announced a plan to boost small arms ammunition production and double India's emergency war stockpiles to enhance readiness. Bharat Forge has bagged a 50 crore rupees contract from UAE based Edge Group for the supply of 155 by 52 mm M109 howitzer barrels. An Indian Air Force contingent has arrived in Egypt to participate in multinational exercise Bright Star 2025 with its Su 30 MiG 29 and C 130 aircraft. The Indian Army has signed two contracts worth 2,565 crore rupees with Armoured Vehicles Nigam Limited to overhaul 40 T-90 main battle tanks and 100 BMP-2 infantry combat vehicles. VEM Technologies has handed over the second Tejas Mark 1A Center Fuselage Assembly to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Singapore has extended its support for India's patrols in the Malacca Straits with Indonesia, Singapore and Malaysia, and have also deepened strategic ties in trade defense and green technology. The Indian Army has issued a request for information for the procurement of 5,000 tethered drones. The Technology Perspective and Capability Roadmap 2025 released by Defence Ministry outlines Indian Navy's plan for a third aircraft carrier with 40-year life cycle. VTOL Aviation India has unveiled the Abhinand Dun Hybrid UAV, that offers 6-hour endurance 100 km range and multi-role capabilities, named in honour of the Indian Air Force Wing Commander who shot down a Pakistani F-16 in 2019. The CEO of Germany's Tissenkrip Marine Systems has said that India can emerge as a key manufacturing hub as the world enters a submarine super cycle of surging demand. During recent talks, India has asked Germany to expedite clearances for defense technology and spares, including parts for Heckler and Koch MP5 submachine guns. The Jorawa light tank has been spotted with Tunbo Imaging's cutting edge see through armor, enhancing 360 degrees situational awareness for crews in high altitude warfare along the LAC. In a major development, Russia has offered its 28 MW Saturn M90 F armoring gas turbines to replace Ukrainian engines on Indian Navy's Russian design warships, with the proposal including local manufacturing under technology transfer. The RDO officials have confirmed that the upcoming GTR e Safran 120 kN jet engine will match the size and weight of 98 kN American F-414, that will ensure seamless integration on the AMCA Mark I and Tejas Mark II without major rare frame changes. India and Japan are exploring a joint venture to co-develop a long-range beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile for their next-generation fighters AMCA and Global Combat Air program. A joint India-Japan missile could integrate the RDO's solid fuel and jet expertise with Japan's AESA secret technology, delivering 300-plus kilometers range and stealth compatibility. India is exploring ways to integrate cavalry derivative engine technologies like advanced blade cooling, digital controls and high temperature materials into existing AL-31 FP engines that power the Su-30 fighter jets. These upgrades could boost thrust by 10 to 15 percent and extend engine life, cut costs and reduce import reliance. A Hindustan aeronautics team will visit the US this month for the fifth round of talks on joint production of F-414 engines, which will power the Tejas Mark II and the first batch of AMCA. The discussions are focused on technology collaboration, with cost negotiations expected later, and HAL aims to sign the contract by March 2026. Bharat Forge, through its subsidiaries Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited and Agni Astra Energetics Limited, has acquired nearly 950 acres land in Andhra Pradesh to set up a state of the art defense energetics manufacturing complex. The facility will include a high explosives plant, ammunition filling unit, and gun propellant production line, covering the full spectrum of energetics for India's ammunition artillery and missile programs. Future expansion will add solid propellants and advanced formulations for ballistic and cruise missiles and space launch vehicles. Today's top 3 comments.